Now, anytime you're asked to find the y-intercept, um, the first thing that you want to remember is if we're going to graph, the y-intercept is any point, it's a point where the line crosses the y-axis. And remember, the y-axis is the vertical axis. So we want to know where is it, where is this parabola going to cross the y-axis? And any point along this y-axis has a common x value, and that means that x is always equal to 0. So what we could do is sub in x equals 0 into our equation to find what y, what y is going to be at that point. So if we sub in for x equals 0 in the first equation, This is going to be 0 squared, which is 0. 0 times 0 is 0, times negative 2 is 0. So this is going to all come out to be 0, plus 13 times 0 is 0, minus 4. In other words, sorry, should I put that there? In other words, y, the y-intercept is going to be at negative 4. So the y-intercept here is going to be 0, negative 4. So the parabola is going to cross at that point. And here, y equals negative 1 third, and we sub in for 0. Same thing, 0 squared is 0 times negative 1 third. Anytime, anything times 0 is 0. 0 plus 8 is 8. So y equals 8. So our y-intercept here is going to be 0, 8.